now to turn around and back again I made my bed and now I lay my head in it And I'm sorry I'm not perfect but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best, you know the worst Look at that. 
thunderstorms, maximum waves can be twice the forecast height. He decided to bring a chef in, don't you, Daz? Yeah. He just needed you know, we love these wings so much, we've got our own chef he to cook them. God, I'm not that tall. <laughs> John Verano from Trad Thai. <laughs> he's, got, he's got me to come down and cook his bloody fish wings. Look at you that. You won't even take me fishing. <laughs> what a legend you are. Okay, now, how do you turn this thing on? Is it just a click? Yeah, it's a clicker. Whoa. And. Dude, that looks amazing. Oh, turbo! Alright, what do we do for the prep, bro? Okay, so pretty much we're going to heat our oil up and then what we're going to do is we're going to marinate our fish wings our, our tasty snapper wings that Mr. over there caught and uh, we're going to put them in fish sauce Now, fish sauce is really good for for, it seasons the skin, it seasons the fish, but on top of that, it also dries on the fish with the flour, and when it gets in the oil, it actually set, gives it like a bit of a seasoning, membrane type of effect. It's one of the old school ways of always seasoning your meat with salt and pepper while you're using fish sauce here. Is that a Thai recipe? Well, it's, it's an Asian thing. It's, I mean, it's like, it's just in, in, in part in flavor. It's pretty important. Like, you know, you could throw them in there with nothing and yeah, you get the same effect, but you won't get the same flavor, that's for sure. Exactly. Yeah, this is all about preparing your product so you can actually get the most out of it. Um, so all these little things, yeah, just, just give them a good soak. And they don't have to be setting in lots of fish sauce. It's only just a little bit to get on the skin. Um, what's, I mean, see, I'm just gonna keep dabbling in it. Keep going through, soaking each one individually. You know, when we're when we're in the kitchen pumping, we'll throw these in a big bowl that, that's been pre-seasoned. So you know what I mean? We pre-season all these meats, and then we throw them in the flour, and then boom, straight in the deep fryer. Uh, it's like what we're doing here. We're getting our oil ready. It's always good to use uh, oil with a high burning temperature and rice bran. That's that's one of those ones that keeps keeps it cooks at a high temperature. It stays at a high temperature, um, which means that you get a really good effect um, and instant crisp. Now it's good to let them sit for a little bit, so a good you know four or five minutes, and then that way it all all the fish sauce goes into the skin. Do you want your oil smoking hot or just oh, hot? We want our oil really hot, as hot as we can, because the moment that we put a couple wings in, our temperature is going to drop because the wings will absorb all that oil, all that heat. So we want that oil like it's like, look at it, it's looking really good. Now, we do have indicators, like I could easily run into Daz's backyard and rip off like some like parsley leaves and stuff like that, throw them in there. You see them crisp up straight away. Or we can just like get a wing and like dabble a little bit of the crispy wing in there. See, there's nothing going on there. Taking forever. So we'll just we'll just wait. It's gonna, it's gonna be a few more minutes. 
See, that's the water coming up. Okay, so next, we're gonna add some, some potato starch. Where do you get that from? Uh, from an Asian store. See, Asian store. That's the best for it, isn't it? Yeah. Better yeah. than flour. Potato starch is great because one, if you're gluten free, it's got no gluten. So if you've got no, you, you've got none of the MNO sperm from the wheat, none of that, which is what the celiacs are allergic to, you know, that. So rice flour, corn flour, you know, all that type of, all these type of alternatives are great. All we are doing is providing the coating uh, for the fish when it goes in. It does protect it, but it also helps the crispiness. So look, it's really simple. It's a straightforward, get it in, coat it, and then push it to the side. Now, I'm just gonna put them back on here. So yeah, so what we're doing here is we're, we're fully coating the, the wings in the starch, and that'll pretty much give them a good, a good layer protect it from the oil but also crisp it up. Also keeps flavour and moisture in in your fish. You can do your whole fish like this. It's like preparing your chicken schnitty, you know, you flour it, egg wash it, crumb it. So what we're doing here is we're just doing the potato starch. Anyway, Dad, when are you going to take your fishing dude? Uh, oh. When this wind goes mate. He's going to blindfold me apparently. <laughs> I can't show you my secret rigs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them. They look awesome, the rigs. I reckon that is a trick. I, I reckon you could be in a manner in a cluster of 20 boats and you still be pulling all the fish up. Those rigs are amazing. Okay, this oil looks pretty good. Um, I'll just quickly do the rest of these wings. Oh, yeah, see? So, I'm going to show you a wing. Um, that's been seeming a bit more fish sauce and I'll show you what I'm talking about with getting the flavour in. So these wings are coming from right down the bottom, okay? So they've been they've been sitting in the fish sauce. So if you look at this wing here, and it's got like a really nice dark infused into it. Yeah. Fish sauce into it. So that's what you really want. Is that my wing? That, that, that can be your wing. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's my ring, my boat, my fish. Oh my god. It's my bloody recipe. It's my recipe. I can claim them. Okay. Oh yeah, now we got to make sure it We've got a pretty strong today because we've got a lot of wind. Blowing its ring out. Yeah, it is like we got it. We've had 30 degree plus days and then our summer buster came in last night until o'clock in the morning this morning and definitely busted down the doors of my house. Okay, crew, so now, now obviously, oil, you gotta be careful of oil. So she's smoking. We got a really got a really good temperature there. It, it will froth up and it will like go all over the shop. So let's just be safe. Look at that, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm frothing. Look at that, look at that. Perfect. Okay. In the meantime, I'll get some paper towel. Cooking in harsh conditions, mate. Yeah, well, this is like the bear grills. This is like <laughs> driveway tie. Driveway tie. <laughs> yeah, at the drive through <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, that's the type of rugged man I am. <laughs> I'm like, rah. <laughs> yeah. Expose myself to the elements. Sweet. Anyway, look at it. Oh, look, look at, at those. that, people. Come on, look at the good. Mmm, mmm, crispy. Ah, that is beautiful. Dude, see that crispiness? See that gorgeous little you want. That you want, crisp crunchiness on the outside? That's what you want. Crispy snapper wings. Now, the important part about this, about having hot oil, is one, is it cooks the fish nice and quick but it doesn't dry it out. So it seals the outside quickly and keeps the moisture in. And of course, like, let's be real. Look how crispy that wing is. That's like Kentucky Fried Fish, bro. Kentucky Fried Fish, yeah. You order now. <laughs> <laughs> you order now. I get ready for you. <laughs> okay, look at that crew. Oh, that's I mean, that man. is sensational. That's sick. Now, always undercook your fish because that means by the time you finish cooking all these little wings, you're gonna have, that wing will be perfect and all the other wings will be like, just get in there. Oh, we're off in. Now we're gonna go one 
add more than one and protect ourselves because it's going to go splatting everywhere. I should have got one of my aprons from the car. You should have, eh? <laughs> you know, I'm notorious for ruining all my shirts. I start cooking and I realise i got oil all over them. Um, so with these you can do various sauces. You can, you can make a nice salad with like green papaya and chilies and lamb gin, which is a lime dressing. And lamb gin is really a dressing, okay? But there's different types of like green chili lamb gin, there's red chili lamb gin, there's like roasted lamb gin, okay? You can do any type of lamb gin for yourself with a little salad for these wings. Or you can do what I used to do, was make a punch of caramel with lots of flavourings and then put the wings over the top and then pour the caramel over the top and Daz knows this because I mean it's like one of the big ones of trad and what we used to do is then you throw in like all fried basil, julienne chilli, deep fried echelots, deep fried garlic, fresh echelots, coriander and um, trust me a bowl of rice and you'll find lots of friends instantly. Yeah I mean look at these wings, I mean that is crispy, I mean oh. perfect. Mm. Man seriously, John can cook. John can cook. John can cook. Anyway, I mean, so I make my friends. I just feed them. Oh, those wings are epic. This old car park park um, cooking episode brought to you by Kentucky Fried Duck is coming along really good. <laughs> yeah, don't we die? Um, I've actually got a, a a new little concept going on at the moment, guys. It's called um, Gorilla Tie. Oh yeah, right. it's no joke. Yeah. This is something I'm going to tell you people to that camera up there. If you can see what's happening here, they're all getting frisk, eh? So you've got to make sure they don't stick together. If you do go for the dangerous technique, like me putting three into a little wok, just make sure that they haven't stuck. When the, when the starch starts to cook, it'll go soft and sticky first, and before it crisps, so you've got to make sure that the stickiness doesn't attract the other side of the fish. So yeah, I've separated them, and now they're going. Oh, dude, they are tasting so bloody good. Oh, like, look at Honestly. Look at that. That's, 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 that's ripping, ripping. Check that out, man. That's just holy shit. Yeah, it's like, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Driveway time. Coming to you. Let's get on my bicycle. Oh, dude, that was great. Oh, oh, crispy. Oh, yum. We'll go simple, maybe sweet chili, huh? Yeah, whatever, whatever. We'll go feed the masses. Oh, it's the best wing recipe in the world. Yeah, well, I mean, I've got a high of carrot paste in my house, but yeah, talking about that so let's, really... let's cook them later. We'll save those. Save and those? That's, that's okay. plenty. Let's go. Yep. We'll eat. Let's yep. give it a try. Can you grab those? Yeah. I'll bring some things out. Hey, Westy. You might be around the back. The crab man. Yeah, hello. You got some food. Oi, we've got some, uh, you're in our catch and cook video. Hey. Come and test this out. He wants me to feed you, Cliffy. Cheers, fellas. Come for a test, where's Clifford? He's seen us. Are you following all the OHS procedures up there, mate, with handrails and stuff? <laughs> yeah, look, he's yogi right now, he's so he far. Is. <laughs> so zen up there, man. You know what you get, Westy? Bought some uh, fish wings for you to test out for us. Lovely, Cliffy, gentlemen. Look at that. Ooh. Thai style crispy snapper wings. Yeah, just a little bit of sweet chili. Just dig in, dig in. dip them in. Thank yeah. you, gentlemen. Like, oh yeah, look at that, Daz. Cliffy knows what to do. Yeah, Cliffy's yeah. had these before, haven't you? Mate, I am watching, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> mm, God, yeah, Daz. How have we done these, boys? Well, Chef John here will tell you all about that. I got a mouthful, man. <laughs> we just, um, oh, lovely. Mm, when I finish, I'll shake your hand. Soak mm, them in lovely. a bit of um, mm. fish sauce and then roll them in potato starch, deep fry. Bob's your uncle, what do you reckon? Beautiful fellas, thank you good. so much. Sweet chili too. <laughs> <laughs> so good, dude. Yeah, good, so huh? Good. Give us a bit. Driveway tie. Cooked in the driveway. Oh, how yeah. good. Snap bro. Mm. Lovely. Good. Oh, that is, that is so good, isn't it? John can cook. John can cook. 
Mm. I think this is one of the best ways you can eat fish. Mm -hmm. Eat the wings too, mate. The fins, they're delicious. Calcium. You are, eh? You'll be on YouTube tonight, mate. <laughs> Beautiful. No Monday, I ought to see you, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> What's that over there? <laughs> <laughs> Can't dig in. <laughs> dig in, Cliffy. We've got more yeah, over more, there, mate. More. Hook in. Okay, you've been working, mate. You it. Right, boys. We'll leave you with it. See West. Mm. Yes, sir. Thank you, fellas, so much. Nice pleasure. Incredible. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> 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 Did they just grab it off the table? Yeah. Oh. Watch out. <laughs> 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 Cheeky. Cheeky.